tax code that doesn't favor the wealthy and the well-connected. It is wrong. It is wrong that you have investment managers making $50 million a year who pay a lower percentage of their income in taxes than a teacher or a nurse making $50,000 a year. that those companies that have moved jobs overseas actually get tax breaks to do so. Now, it's a free country. You can move your jobs wherever you want, but there should not be one penny of your taxpayer dollars to help anybody who moves a job from California somewhere else, and we are going to stop it. And I want to see us continue to raise the minimum wage for the hardest working workers. And I believe that we should have a law which says the Congress cannot increase its own pay unless it increases the minimum wage. Yeah. In the and we need a new source of jobs. You know, we have to keep replenishing our economy. That's where America has always been in the forefront. No one has innovated more. No one has been more entrepreneurial. No one has understood and created the future better. As I was listening to President Weber talk, and he was talking about innovation and all the work that is done here at San Diego State, I was thinking about how we have to unleash that again. We've got to end President Bush's war on science that has hobbled our scientists and our researchers. We could create so many new jobs if we once again funded the National Institutes of Health and the National Science Foundation and all of the other scientific agencies in our government. We also have to have a new source of jobs by using clean, renewable energy in a way that will unleash our future. You know, we've had a lot of talk about the energy crisis. $100 a barrel oil will get your attention. The price of the gas pump going up, really putting a crimp in so many budgets, particularly those who commute. And I know that Commuting is a way of life in California. So more and more of people's disposable income going into their gas tanks. Well, let's quit talking about it. And let's get serious about an energy plan that will help our security, begin to deal with global warming and the environmental consequences of a carbon-based economy, and create millions of new good jobs. And here's what I would do. I would invest in a strategic energy fund. And the way I would fund it to research new renewable forms of energy and new technologies would be to take the tax subsidies and giveaways away from the oil companies and put them to work on the just posted its quarterly profit over $40 billion, the highest profit ever. Now I have said they've got to start being part of the solution because they sure have been part of the problem. And I have advocated a windfall profits tax to be put to use on behalf of energy efficiency upgrading our refinery capacity, modernizing our other infrastructure, making the transition from where we are today to where the future awaits us. We cannot have a strong economy. We cannot take care of our security challenges if we don't quit being held hostage. Right now, we borrow money from the Chinese to buy oil from the Saudis. That is not a good strategy for America. And so let's get serious about what we should be doing. And many of you I know care passionately about this issue. I hope you'll go to my website, hillaryclinton.com, and read my comprehensive energy and global warming policy. I will start to work immediately 
If I am fortunate enough to be president, because I know we will not make any progress until the two oil men leave the White House. Yeah. Yeah.